right, so rather than post pictures all over the page, thank you, Deanne, though, I thought a video might be simpler. Um, so this is the buyback unit. This is the unit that I showed in the pictures. So when you open the back door, uh, we've got tons of storage on the inside. There's storage on the back door itself. We use the VersaTrack system. We make all type of attachments for it. Um, I just use the two baskets, the paper towel holder. I do have a little garbage can holder as well that I use. Um, so then we've got the pull-out kitchen. As I mentioned in the one post, the second generation, we've did a little bit more finish work to it. So the kitchen features the pull-out cutting board at the bottom. Um, it's got a drawer there for silverware storage um, as well. And then we've got two basins on top that you can use for washing and rinsing. Um, they fit inside one another. Um, and then this is the 12 volt Dometic refrigerator. Sorry, nor, nor cold refrigerator that we use. Um, it's 1.6 cubic feet. Um, it does work extremely well. Um, it works on temperature setting. I have managed to actually freeze things because I had the temperature set wrong. Um, on the back side too, we also have the water port. Um, which hooks up in the back and attaches to the 15 gallon water tank that we put up front. The water pump's um, Sorry, water pump is on. But the 12 volt demand pump does give water pressure to the back so when you are doing dishes and stuff um, you don't have to worry about... Remember we drain the tank? Oh, that's right. So, but we use um, a quick connect shower or a hose fitting for the water system. Stretches up to 15 feet, but it does coil up. Um, and we actually store that in here in that um, black basket up at the top. So on the inside wall behind my kitchen, I have storage. I keep a table, um, chair. I do have a key rack hidden behind here um, that I can store the keys and stuff when I'm traveling um, and I'm not using it. So up at the front, we've got cargo net storage. Um, at the top and then I've got side storage here. This side storage does actually tip up out of the way. Uh, we did that for a couple reasons. One, you can see the water tank in the up front there. That way you know how full your tank is. And also you can see by the battery there's a little black round port. We actually use that to connect it to the inside tie down points of my Nissan Frontier um, or any truck that we put it on to help keep um, appendages from the outside so you don't hit stuff as you travel. So I use bedding and clothing storage on the inside. Um, also along this back wall we've got additional storage. We have a cabinet here um, that I can put plenty of storage space in. And then this is a pull out, it's a drawer as well. Um, just makes traveling with canned goods and spices and those types of things a lot easier than trying to use totes for everything. Um, I do have a spot you can see right there for a tote. I do carry two totes. Um, the tote that's in there has kitchen stuff in it, and then I carry another tote for dirty clothes. And then I also have a little bit of basket storage down here. I keep um, flashlight, single burner stove, um, dish drainer, you can see there, and a flashlight as well. Um, so we do use all LED lighting on everything as well. You can see the LED lights on the inside. We have singles and doubles, which help um, keep the amp draw down so I can travel with the 40 watt solar panel. We also have LED on the outside for all your clearance lights, patio lights, tail lights, all of those types of things. So on this uh, passenger side here, oops, this is the lift up storage so you do have access to the outside to that one compartment where the blankets and stuff were at. Um, and then right next to that on the outside is the fill for the water tank as well. So then on my unit this is the Bunda On. Um, it's a product that we get in from South Africa. It's a fully self-supported three-sided um, awning. And then on top of that is the Bunda Top, uh, which is where I sleep. That's the all-electric rooftop tent. Um, we're the only all-electric rooftop tent here in the States, and we also import that um, from South Africa. Underneath the tent is the flatter. It does fold into two pieces, but I find it easier for traveling to leave it as one piece and then just store it on top of my roof for easier access. So on the outside, on the driver's side, I've got storage as well. So this compartment here I kind of have as my additional kitchen. Keep the cups, the plates, uh, bowls, things like that. So they're nice and neat, easy to get to rather than in a tote. And then next to that, I keep all of the stuff that I don't use very often or I don't use until um, after camp is set. So um, I've got my solar panel inside there. I've also got um, 
a couple rugs, a shovel, bow saw, just I usually carry a tool kit with me as well. Um, so that's just kind of the storage on it. Like I said, this is the second generation, so this is the second one that I've had. Um, just had Rory do some modifications on it to make it a little bit more user friendly um, for myself and then whoever we, whoever I sell it to when I'm done with it. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you a short video, let you know about the uh, buyback itself. Um, I'd love to answer any additional questions. Um, I do actually work for Bunda Tech USA and this is the unit that I personally travel in. It's me and a little dog and it's perfect for us. Um, perfect for singles or couples that are traveling cross country with a small truck um, and don't want to have to use a pull behind and it gives you more options than just a topper because um, you do have the extra space um, that you can use as cargo and then sleeping on top. So like I said, you can private message me or message me on the board. I'd love to answer any additional questions and help with anything I can. Thanks again.